Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hello, friends. So all the devotees of Saint Anne and Mother Rosa, our blessed founders. Hello to all of you, to our brothers, priests, and brothers, sons of Saint Anne in Rome, our Father General, Father Leandro Conia and his council, our brothers in the community of Soriano del Cimino, Italy, and Piacenza, Italy, our brothers in Peru, and of course in Bolivia, and yes, Brazil and Kenya. How are you? I hope you are all fine and happy in the grace of God. We are now in the 10th day of our month of Saint Anne, a month of reflections and prayers. And as I always say, preparing our hearts for the feast of Saint Anne and Saint Joachim, the parents of Mary Immaculate. Yes, we, our theme for today is the simple heart contemplates the beauty of God's creation. Yes, in the simplicity of heart that the feelings of admiration, the praise, and gratitude do remain. These three feelings were constantly present in the life of Saint Anne, of course, in the life also of Mary Immaculate, her daughter, right in the bosom of Saint Anne, that the primitive innocence has been shown again. Therefore, the first creation is connected to the second creation, right? <laughs> so, great is the Lord, great is His loving care for all of us. Only the little ones, the simple ones, with the simple hearts, yes, in need of paternal or maybe maternal attention, can show and exalt the power and the greatness of God, yes. Looking and admiring the beauty of creation, the heart can be filled with amazement, with joy, and of course with gratitude. My brothers and sisters, we have here the suggested reading from this, the book of Psalm chapter 8. Let's take some lines here. Here where? Our Lord, our Lord, how great your name throughout the earth. Above the heavens is your majesty chanted. By the mouths of children, babes in arms, you set your stronghold firm against your foes and subdue enemies. I look up at your heavens made by your fingers, at the moon and stars you set in place. Ah, what is man that you should spare thought for him, the son of man that you should care for him. Beautiful. Ang ganda, di ba? This God is a loving God, a caring God, a great God. Yes, thank you so much, good. So, it is proper to simple hearts to praise no, to marvel, to recognize the greatness of God, to love Him, and to make Himself beloved. Yes. So Mother Rosa also, like the psalmist, loves God, praises the beauty that God has lavished in creation, no? and in man, as Saint Anne certainly did. No, that man exalts the mercy of God. Yes, it's a challenge. It's a challenge here to exalt the mercy of God. So let's take um, a short line of Mother Rosa's thought here. I beg you, please speak only of the greatness of God and His omnipotence. These three subjects gave me so much satisfaction. Very nice. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. God, you are so great. You are a loving God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the example of faith. Your saints, Saint Anne, Saint Joachim, Mother Rosa, Blessed Mary, we pray and we entrust to you, Lord, our world, our church, and each one of us, all the families in need of your care. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless us all.